Hello friends, welcome back to bankexamstudio.com. Today we will do data interpretation. So first of all, let me tell you some basic tricks to solve the data interpretation questions. The first one is try to learn some cal quick calculation tricks. I have shared many calculation tricks in my blog Bank Exams Today. You can find there. The secondly, never try to find the exact answer. Try to find the nearby answer. If the answer is uh, the options are given as uh, 27 28 uh, or 30 then 35 or 39 and if uh, the your answer is about uh, 28 then you should mark the 27 as answer and one of the most important trick that i have seen is the uh, this is the one of the most common mistake that the candidates candidates do is 10% of 100 is always more than the 10% of 50 so it looks so simple but when when the students uh, this analyzes uh, the diagrams and the pie chart they usually uh, commit these kind of stupid mistakes so let's do a very simple question first okay let's do a very simple example there are five companies company T, Q, R, S and T that is a production of fertilizers in tons and this one is uh, years this one is year 99 this one is year 2000, 2001 similarly here this is year 99 year 2000 year 2001 okay so here are the two questions actually the questions were uh, five to six but the remaining questions were the simply the calculations so these are the two questions production of which company has changed the most company t q r or t so here you have to see between the years between the years 99 to 2001 <coughs> Now simply you have to see that uh, if you see uh, there there are basically changes in two companies the big changes are in either in company R or company S so there is a smaller change in company T so this one is rejected and in company P there is also a small change why in company R and company S there is a similar change okay if you consider this as a company S as an option so there is a similar change the so same as I said in my the starting of the video if if it is uh, uh, it is 30 and this one is 50 so there is an increase of 20 20 of 30 is more than 50 and this one is 40, uh, this one is as uh, I think 40 10 over 50 if we uh, if we convert it into percentages 20 over 30 is always more than the 10 over 50 so the answer should be R the maximum change is in R so so in the next question for which company rise of fall was maximum in percentages again the answer should be R the rise of rise of fall is maximum here okay Thank you.